Good afternoon. George Osborne is in Devon and Cornwall today for the first time since the general election. Sweeping support from the South West was instrumental to the Tories' landslide victory. Today, the Chancellor toured a shipyard in North Devon and spoke about what the South West can expect from the next five years. I'm determined to fix this broken model of running our country from the centre of London. It's not working and it's making people feel more remote from the de decisions that affect Sorry. their lives. Good that tech. includes here Sorry. in the South West. And so we're saying for counties, for towns, for cities that want to take greater control of their own affairs, come and talk to us. Police have received a tip-off about a woman from Plymouth who has been missing in Cyprus since Wednesday. Tourist Pauline Ann Piddock, 64, disappeared during an excursion to the village of Amodos. Police say she has been spotted in the British Sovereign Base area but is still missing. Mrs Pidcock suffers from epilepsy. The recent local elections have brought a new political era to Plymouth. Labour and the Conservatives have agreed to a working arrangement so the City Council can function. Labour, with 28 seats, will run the Council's executive functions with Tudor Evans staying as Council Leader. Every two weeks they'll discuss council business with the Tories who have 26 seats. Footballers with disabilities will be taking part in the largest football festival in the South West this weekend. The Sunrise Cup is now in its 10th year. It was started by Alan Lewis to raise money for a special type of treatment for his son Paul who has autism. It's day five of charity fundraiser. Wayne Ingram's week living on a life raft for charity. The former Pride of Britain nominee hopes to raise £20,000 for Great Ormond Street. He'll be speaking to us later about being past the halfway point, but here's what he had to say about the challenge so far. So, I'm uh, struggling today. Thank you. I'm, I'm struggling with enthusiasm. I woke up and thought myself, what am I doing here? But I've got to keep in the back of my mind that it's for the Great Ormond Street and for the Family Centre. Now, let's take a look at the region's weather with Manali Luca. Pressure dropping. Ice melting. First Great Western sponsors the ITV West Country weather. Hello there. Good afternoon to you. This is how the forecast is shaping up for the bank holiday weekend. Saturday, definitely the best day. Sunny and warm. We're expecting to see a spell of rain.